Did you know that every fifth adult lives with chronic pain? And that rheumatoid arthritis patients list pain relief as the top priority of what they expect from their medication. Yet up to 60% report that they're not satisfied with the pain relief they get from their current treatment. I really think we need to listen and do something about this. As scientists, we can find many things that are fascinating. However, at the end of the day, I think it's important to remember that science and research are there to serve humanity. Therefore, in my PhD project, I'm focusing on chronic pain caused by rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is an autoimmune condition. It will cause joint inflammation, deformation and pain. What I'm more precisely studying is the connection between the system responsible for sensing pain and the immune system. Cells that sense pain are called neurons and their cell bodies are located in dorsal root ganglions here not just next to the spinal cord. From the dorsal root ganglions, neurons have projections out into the periphery and back into the central nervous system. However, neurons are not lonely in the dorsal root ganglions. They reside there together with immune cells. And this is true in health and in disease, as well as in humans and the mice models that we use to study RA-related pain. Now, we know these cells are there, we just don't know what they're doing or how they're affecting pain signaling. I will try to understand this during my PhD, and I will do so by labeling specific proteins on the surfaces of these cells and then following them throughout the disease model. In order to subgroup these immune cells, I will try to measure every single gene being produced by every individual cell and then based on this individual gene production pattern I will subgroup the cells into different clusters. In order to understand if these cells are the good guys or the bad guys I will try to block their action and see how that affects pain-like behavior. Ultimately I hope my research will contribute to identifying novel drug targets which will allow for production of better fitting drugs.